I can't believe they just clicked and dragged themselves in front of the White House like some cheap ass royalty free clip art. What's up everyone? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're looking to get your music reviewed, you can hit up this email as right here. But right now, you are tuned into my quick rant review for this Fat Joe and Remy Ma album called Plata o Plomo. Now, of course, leading up to this one, they had the smash hit All the Way Up, which is on this album, and I think it's all right for what it is, just a fun little club banger. And Remy Ma has been making some noise because of the little beef that she has with Nicki Minaj. Although, personally, I haven't really been into that too much because I don't listen to Nicki Minaj and I don't really listen to Remy Ma. So I haven't found this beef to be that great. The tracks have been pretty bad, but maybe on an upcoming episode of The Rundown, I'll talk about that a bit more. But, you need to know, you can go over to the Facebook page, man, where I've been posting some of these songs, and we have been having a bit of a discussion. It's almost like a message board over there sometimes. So, if you're wondering what I think about certain albums and songs that I might not have the time to give a full review to, you can just swing by there and join the discussion that we're all having. But as for this album right here, I would say that the production is easily the strongest point because you are going to get some nice synth bangers and anthems that are a little bit like all the way up, including the track Cookin', which just has this very heavy beat to it, definitely has some bump going on, and you're going to get a couple of R&B tracks as well, along with that poppy dancehall shit that everybody is trying to do, because they have this song called Heartbreak that is following in those footsteps. So production-wise, there are some nice beats here, but there's also nothing too original or creative happening. It's all very standard, and you can really tell they're just trying to go for that mainstream commercial sound. And man, when it comes to the bars on this thing, I thought they were actually pretty bad. There's just not much of interest being said on pretty much the whole project. You're just going to get a lot of braggy street shit with some punchlines here and there. So some of the verses are okay, but there's just nothing new or exceptional with the rapping. It's all pretty standard and straightforward. So there weren't really any moments that blew me away. Although I did appreciate on Dreamin' when Remy Ma was rapping about her time in prison and how it still has an effect on her. So that was a bit of a personal moment. Got kind of deep on that one. And to me, that was the most memorable moment out of pretty much everything on here because god damn there are just some lethargic flows on this damn thing man including on the song too quick as well as go crazy where they are just rapping stiffer than some crusty ass jizz socks at the bottom of a teenager's closet i'm talking about a sock so stiff you could pick it up and throw it on some legend of zelda shit so those two tracks in particular head bad flows you will hear some boring sloppy flows on some of these other tracks as well so it's too bad because you know what i can understand a project just having some fun tracks some bassy bangers, you know, just keeping it light, as long as there's something interesting happening with the rapping, you know, whether you have like an interesting vocal style, a lot of energy, some crazy flows or something, but these two really just kind of bored me to tears, and even the chemistry between them wasn't really anything too special, and to make matters even worse, there are some god awful, horrendous hooks on this thing, man. Spaghetti would have been a good song because it has a decent beat and some quality verses, at least compared to some of the other ones. But the hook is terrible because Remy Ma just sounds like a fat, drugged kid just crooning about spaghetti, man. I'm slipping on spaghetti. I'm slipping on spaghetti. That shit is absolutely terrible. You got Fat Joe cringe crooning on how long. And then Kent Jones, don't even get me started on these Kent Jones hooks, man. Oh my god. On the song, Swear to God, he just sounds like a robot being beaten into submission with a big-ass wrench because his voice is just way too overproduced. And then on another track, he's just going on for so long, the hook takes up like more than half the song. The song is actually called How Can I Forget? And again, he just has this warbly, auto-croon type of shit going on. I don't know, man. I really wasn't feeling this album too much at all. I know a lot of you guys were. A lot of you were telling me to review this because you thought it was fire. And that's cool. I understand why you might like it. It's kind of fun, kind of simple, not trying to be too deep or crazy. And that'd be fine if there was something original or creative or exceptional happening here, but there really isn't. And I thought this is definitely one of the worst things I've heard this year so far, which is why I would give it a two out of five. But if you disagree, let me know what you liked about it. Give me your rating because you know what? We all got different ears. We ain't going to feel the same about everything. But I would like to know what you like about this, or if you didn't like it, you can let me know if you feel the same way. Now, as usual, you also want to make sure to do all that good YouTube and social media stuff where you like my videos, you share them, you follow me on Twitter, you know all the things to do, man. You want to click like on the Facebook page, subscribe, help a brother out so we can hit 20k. We're creeping up there, taking a bit of time, but hey, we'll get there eventually, and I appreciate all your guys' support. So until then, see you next time, man. Keep it 
classy.